everybody, I am Tell Sonic and welcome to another reaction video of what this one is called the Pokemon Direct. Hey, do you remember they did a Pokemon Direct in the past over Pokemon Sword and Shield as you see here on screen, Pokemon Sword, Sword and Shield? Yeah, that's, a, that's another reaction video of the, another Nintendo Direct, Pokemon Direct, June 5th, 2019 Direct. Starts in about five minutes. Starts in five minutes. It's literally nine o'clock a.m. ET, so it's almost eight o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time right now as I speak. So I'm watching this as it's going to be live. Like you see down here, it says live. Down here, it says live. Yeah, it says live down here as you see. See, it says live, little red dot. It's about to start any minute now. So I'm going to go full screen on this thing. Full screen. There you go. See. I'm on full screen now. Well, watch this live. Oops, yeah, I'm gonna watch it live. Instead of watching the video, the, the reaction like pre-recorded, it, it's about three minutes now, it's about to start. Can't wait to see it. Oh yeah, I was checking there. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure of things here as I get all set up. Yeah, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Like I, like I said, I've never even played Pokemon Sun and Moon yet. But man, seriously, I have to get Sun, Sun and Moon or Ultra Moon or Ultra Sun. I need to get those games. I know this is Pokemon on the Switch, so uh, without a doubt, I know I'm going to get this one. Yeah, this one's on June fifth, two thousand nineteen, and I'm watching it as it's almost eight o'clock a.m. right now. Speaking of a uh, reaction video, I'm gonna actually do a live reaction for E3. You know, June 5th is June 5th as we're recording this. As I'm watching this, it's about to start in a minute now. Oh my god, three minutes now, it's about to start. Ooh. <laughs> I still can't wait for this, for this thing to start. Literally can't wait for this video. I can't wait for this direct. Hold on. I like Pokemon, but it's been so long since I've played a Pokemon game. Tune in for roughly 15 minutes of new information on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch in a live stream Pokemon Direct presentation. Mm hmm Yep. It's a live stream presentation, so I'm watching it live right now. Well, it's recorded. This video is recorded. Blah, blah. <gasps> Three more minutes? It's almost two minutes. Oh my god, it's almost starting. It's literally 7.57 a.m. God, I just want to see it now. Because it's live. Can't wait any minute now. <laughs> Here I am just talking about how it's any minute now. It's Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield. Which game will I buy? Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield? Hmm, will I get Sword or will I get Shield? I still haven't gotten Sun or Moon yet, like I said earlier. But we'll get those in the future. Oh my gosh. 7.58. It's almost 7.59 as I speak. Dude, I just wish it would start now. But, yeah, and I kind of wish I had started this video, like, say... Oh, I don't know. Started the, wish I started this video, like... Like, three minutes before it's about to start. And now here we go. It's going to start any minute now. It's so good. God, I wish it would just start already. Because it says live down here. See, it says live. There's a little red dot live. It says live. So, it's live. It's live. Yes, this is live. This is live as we speak. I'm watching it live. You know, most of my reaction videos, I watched the videos pre-recorded and action when they were actually happening. I'm not going to do that for future. I also have another reaction video that I might upload after this one. Who knows? Like, what if I upload two reaction videos in one day? Oh my god, it's about to start. It's about to start. Here we go. Here we go, it's about to start. Yeah, I'm gonna do another reaction video off of a, a movie, but you'll see that when I when you see it. But yeah, it's just my thoughts about the trailer for that movie. Which is delaying till twenty twenty. The movie itself is being delayed to twenty twenty, but whatever. Yeah, that's that. So here we go. It's gonna start. Oh my god, it's almost eight o'clock. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> I guess I'm excited to see this. Any moment now. Come on, any second. God, I wish I'd start this video like 
like about three minutes before it was about to start still five minutes before it was about to start that's how long it started this here we go welcome to pokemon direct hey. i'm ishihara from the pokemon company hey. today i would like to provide the huh? latest news about yep, the pokemon is. sword and pokemon <laughs> shield <laughs> games all right to begin please take a look at this video show it to me let's see it <laughs> oh we're gonna do my whole thing yeah i know it's going live it's talking about this those pop-ups <laughs> huh. look at that yeah pokemon <laughs> that, that's funny Dude, Oh, the music. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa. I gotta turn it down a bit. What is it? What the heck is music? 3D. Oh, oh. oh that nuclear explosion. Look like it. Uh, not that Pokemon. Hello, look at all this Pokemon. Eh, uh, I forgot. God, the Gyarados. Yeah, I forgot the names of these Pokemon. Some of them. Yeah, bike riding through the water. <laughs> Turn it back up a little bit. Ah! Sword and shield. Oh, Gyarados! What the heck? What the heck? Dude, a group battle. Don't tell me it's gonna have online play. Is this gonna be like an MMO? Or something? An MMO. Uh, what the freak is this? No way! Ah! <laughs> Giant light shoot. What the heck? Oh, that's a big Pokeball. Uh oh, disco ball. Disco, disco, disco. And it's shaking. Wow. Okay. So, funny. God, that music is loud. I gotta turn down the video on o on OBS. God, those are huge. Holy crap! Are you serious? Why are they so enormous? My God, they're enormous. Whoa. Dude, this is insane. What the heck? Okay, that was weird. How about that? Being free? Wow. Giant Pokemon now? Hello, I'm Masuda That's from your Game Freak. That's your newest idea. Junichi. Hi, I'm Omori Masuda. from Game Freak. Omori and Masuda. What did you think of the video? Masuda. That's pretty cool. Today, we would pretty like new. to deliver the latest wow. news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. Hmm. All right. Like, underway. Great. Cool. So, you can yeah. take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. Mm -hmm. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Score Pokemon, body. you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. I'm probably going to use Scorbunny. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, mm -hmm. towns in which you will find humans and we'll Pokemon working us. together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. Huh. Look at that. Pokemon Ooh. battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Galar uh, region. Yep. Okay. Stadiums across the Galar region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Galar region as well. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, like to tell you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in yep. the Galar region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Okay. Hey, Jamie. Hello. Please. I'm James Turner from Game Turner. Freak. Oh, Jamie. I worked as the art director for these games. 
Cool. There are a lot of never before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. Right. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. Mm -hmm. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Ulu. Ulu. Uh. This Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, <laughs> which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft <laughs> popular specialty goods. That's this funny. Pokemon here Shoot. is Gossifleur. Huh? The uh, flowering huh? Pokemon. Uh oh, is it gonna cost if I'm not things? favors places really? with clean air and water. Oh, and okay. its pollen is said to have healing properties. That's the opposite of this Gossip next Pokemon thing. is called Dreadnor. <laughs> the bite Pokemon. What? The sharp Dreadnor. and bite jagged Pokemon. edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Looks like a bear trap to me. Makes it a difficult Pokemon Ooh. to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. This almost looks like an it MMO. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she Seriously, has previously I, visited. I can see it happening in the future. As many of you already know, some Pokemon that. can evolve. Pokemon in the world in the future. stronger in the process. Seems possible. Gossifleur or seems like could is happen. one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves, uh. it becomes Eldegoss. Eldegoss. As you can see, there are now small seeds Ooh. scattered across its fuzzy head. Ah, look at that. These what seeds the are said to promote Weird. growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. Ooh, okay, that's cool. That's right. all yeah. I can show you this time. All right. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region mm -hmm. for you to discover. That's the of way. course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon mm. you're already familiar with. Mm -hmm. oh, I hope look you're as excited was like, oh. as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Bloody. Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. Ooh. All right, so can't wait. I still have to play Sun and Moon. God damn, I should have played that game already. Whoa. Dude, it looks like a golf course. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one course. of the thrills of the adventure. Looks like one. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Galar region is in a place called the Wild Area. Wild Area. Looks like a golf this course. This wild area huh. stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Hmm. Different Pokemon, Pokemon can appear depending balls. on where you are See? and what the weather is like, <laughs> meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing Ooh. you to better search for items and Pokemon. Uh -huh. Search far and wide in the tall Dude. grass, in the really? skies above, and even in the lakes, but you never like... know what you might find. It was like Legend of Zelda in certain locations Pokemon. in the Gala region, a new Legend phenomenon Zelda. can be triggered that makes a Pokemon oh, giant in size idea. and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. Hmm. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Hmm. All right. Oh my god, why are they so huge? You just said Dynamax, right? Is that why they're big? Or is Hi, that not paying attention? I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning oh, director wow. of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Great. Let me <laughs> tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which no. will surely bring about all new strategies That's for Pokemon great. battles. That's great. Thoughts up, little Fikusas. Pokemon from the Gallery yeah, there's something Dynamax about that. to not only become massive in size, but also <laughs> boost their power. Oh boy. All the God. moves they know turn Huge. into powerful maximums. Yep. Kalu. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. Well, so, Dynamaxing. you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Man. So it's like Mastering Mega Dynamax evolving. will be key to becoming a full fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Boy. Another Remember that another wild still area huge you told size. You about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. What? 
connect with other players. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles. What the heck? Which four Pokemon trainers can <laughs> join forces to challenge wow. wild Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. Max Raid Battle. In Max Raid Dude. Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not uh, only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Dude, Only one of these four players who yeah. have teamed up for the Max Raid battle will be able to Dynamax yeah. their Pokemon in each battle. It's like a disco so coordinating ball. with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Dude, Pokemon. Dude, not that thing. Oh god, beware something. If you and your allies manage to emerge ah. victorious, you will get a chance to capture oh, the Pokemon in a now. truly dynamic catch. It's a disco ball. Seriously, it looks like a freaking disco ball. A giant disco ball. The Pokemon that ball. you can take on yeah. in Max Raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild yeah. area and the state of the weather. Clefairy. Among these different a Pokemon are some that can only be caught after Diglets. you defeat them in Max Raid battles. So that we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Max right. Raid Battles features strategic, cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokémon, which is a first for the main series of Pokémon games. Hmm. Wait, what? Come it's again? going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from oh. all around the globe. Right. So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. I can't remember how they did it on the 3DS. The Street Pass thing with Pokemon. Yeah, I didn't really Next, play some of the like moves, so I wouldn't know how that works. On your adventure. Or some move this guy track. is the greatest trainer in the Gala Ridiculous. region. And also the current champion. His now name is Leon. Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are Leon, so widely huh? enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. Okay. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, <laughs> winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. The talking about the it's characters. no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. Oh, great. His name is Hop. <laughs> Hop dreams to one Hop. day become champion, just like his elder brother. And he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. Another rival. A different His trainer, the different rival. begins on the same day as yours. Yep. Just like in any other problem on you. On your journey, so you and Hop will receive with. a great deal of support from these two characters. It's professor like Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Oh. Their abundant wisdom and sound mm. advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. Uh. Okay. It's like prof another professor. It's a Professor Oak. Palatine. Next, I would like to talk so. about the Pokemon gyms in the Gala region. You and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region mm -hmm. in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. Yep. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations uh, that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamax. Looks ridiculous, like holy cow. The gym leaders oh, also have man. extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them with some of your own. And that, here I thought Z moves were ridiculous. Battles or between two Megu Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to Mount reach Dynamax. Jeez. First Mega Let me Evolve, one of the then gym leaders Z moves. To now this. This is the grass type expert, Golly. Milo. Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Milo. Pokemon. And you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. We got Murphy's Law. See what I did there? Look forward to facing <laughs> many more heated Law. battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. Oh, that's a different Milo. We've shown Get off it? quite a bit today. Hmm. But, I have well. one more okay, video I would like you to see. Oh, what now? Another video? Please take a look. Alright. Yeah, take a look. What? I don't know. I don't show up. All my hands don't show up on screen. Take a look. He's like, oh snap, what is this? What the? Ah, uh, shield Pokemon. And that's a sword Pokemon. 
Well, shield and sword, I get it. How funny. Where is it? Ah. A sword legendary and a shield legendary. Uh oh. Oh, they work together, apparently. Oh, snap! Yep, sword and shield. Two legendaries. The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are, in fact, legendary Pokemon of the Gala region, mm -hmm. called Zacian and Zamazenta. Zacian and Zamazenta. Oh, I have to Look remember that. Look forward to discovering for <laughs> yourself just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. Well, they work together. I hope you enjoyed oh, today's shield. Pokemon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the gallery. Well, of course there would be. <laughs> We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. No, yeah. couldn't wait for this one. Please look forward to it. Well, dude. Hey. <laughs> like, Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. That's funny. Like, hey. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Oh, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon oh. Shield will be available on November 15th, 2019 hey. as a global simultaneous release. Nice. And starting today, you can pre-order a special double pack. Oh. Stay tuned for more information. What? I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Jungle Pack. Thank Why you for I... watching. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. Why would they sell these two in a double pack? Oh man. That's, so that's it. That's the Pokemon Direct. For Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's like, thanks for watching. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing. For showing. I seriously can't wait for E3. What happens after this? It happens this week. This is June 5th. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's literally it. Alright. So, wow. Oops. That's it for this direct. Cool. Yeah. They see now. So... And what will I say? What do I say about this at the end? I really don't know what else to say about that. Other than, hey, you saw the same thing I saw. A Dynamax? First, there's like a mega, there's like this mega evolution, which is almost like Super Saiyan kind of thing. Mega evolve, and then there's like a Z move thing, stronger move or whatever. Now it's this Dynamax thing. Yeah, it's like, I feel like they're gonna do like a Pokemon MMO someday where every region from every single Pokemon game that they've released all like put together as in one game as an MMO. Seems like it could happen someday. Apparently with how much they with how far they've gotten with the way the games look now, now they're played in 3D. Well, there's been other 3D Pokemon games it's still on handheld where they've been on console. I'm sure like, like you know, Pokemon Stadium and all that. Well, po po Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament, that's not really a, well, that's more of a fighting game. Fighting Pokemon game rather than a, you know, Pokemon game like these, but like Pokemon, but yeah, it was fun to watch. Yep, can't wait to get a hold of that. <laughs> But yeah, I still will check out Pokemon like Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon. I was like, well, I can't believe I haven't checked those out yet. It's like kind of disappointed in myself that I haven't checked those out yet, but I will. No, I don't know. I guess it's just because games on handheld, I'm less likely to buy a game on a handheld as I am to getting it on a console. I don't know why, but I guess it's just to have it. Like, I still buy games on the handheld, but. It's another reason why I started creating videos on YouTube. So it helped me get in the habit of like 
it would it's a way of helping me get to the games i haven't gotten to yet or i haven't played yet and i've owned for who knows how long i've owned this game but i haven't actually really played it yet since i've been having to collect the new games it's like when am i gonna play this game even though i had it it's ridiculous but that's one of the reasons why i started youtube well i've always had a youtube channel so i started making videos but all right that's enough talking about this here so yeah i enjoyed that that was fun to watch big time don't want to drag this on to be in too long of a video i got another reaction video got, probably gonna upload after this one if i don't upload both both uh reaction videos in the same day i'm probably gonna yeah upload this and then upload the other one i might upload both at the same time but anyways yeah there's e3 coming up and i'm gonna do a live reaction a live reaction stream I'll be checking out all the press conferences, not just the not just the Nintendo Direct for E3, the Nintendo E3 Direct. Yeah, can't wait for that. Anyways, to see what they have for E3 this year, definitely. So, all right, that's enough talking about reaction videos and this, yeah, I guess yeah, I actually can't wait to play this one. Once I get it, Pokemon, and still have to decide, Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield, which one? I always have a hard time deciding, Sword or Shield, can't really decide, I have a tough time deciding on that, but I gotta decide before November 15th, so, alright, <laughs> yeah, so, that's it, alright, so let me know what you guys think about my reaction in this video, or this direct we just watched in the comments down below you know if you like this video if you like it you can slap that like button you'll smack it if there's a naughty like button you'll slap that like button no no if you want to <laughs> or if you'd like to see more from me you'd like to see more reaction videos or any of my other videos like seasonal events and such you can subscribe it's all up to you so yeah all right and with that said <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye.